like in Congress, uh, in many of the states, when an incident occurs, the legislature reacts. And in many cases, it just like Rahm Emanuel said, a good crisis should never go to waste, seize the power to advance the influence of government. Could you explain briefly what it is, that circumstance that happened there in California that the General Assembly has seized as a justification for what you just outlined? Yes, sir. Down in Southern California in Riverside County, there was a family who had actually filed their private school affidavit. They indicated they were a homeschool family. They had 13 children. The oldest was 28 and the youngest was fairly young, one or two. And uh, the 17-year-old daughter escaped, believe it or not, escaped from the home and, and made some allegations of abuse and neglect. And when the police and, and CPS got in and investigated, they found some horrible things that are being reported. Now, if we assume these things are true, they would indicate that they actually imprisoned their children. Uh, they had no freedom. They were uh, emaciated. They were not being fed very well. It was a horrible situation. Okay, so that we know. So what happened immediately almost was the media got on this, and rather than addressing this as a horrible abuse and neglect situation, they began to blame homeschooling. In other words, they stopped talking about the parents and their impact on the kids as it relates to how they raised them, but that homeschooling had enabled, because of the isolation factor, had enabled these parents to be able to isolate their children, and so nobody actually knew what was going on. Now, the reality is, is that people did know what was going on, and they had seen suspicious situations. And quite frankly, nobody had really addressed this by contacting CPS or even going to the family and trying to figure out what was going on. As a result, now, as you say, the legislature has jumped on this, and they say, oh, there's too much freedom in California with homeschooling, so we just have to make sure now that if there's one child we could save, we know that the majority of the homeschoolers are not like this family. But because this family did it, we know there's probably some others that are, are like them and have the potential to do it. So we want to look into this legislation, past legislation, as I indicated at the top of the program. 